And at the very top of the hill, we have our sleepy bear. On top of what appears to be a very large acorn. Now, I wouldn't really call it a quest per se, but hey, a thing of leaves. I wouldn't really call it a quest per se, but you can bring him other objects and he will jump on and uh, stand on the new objects and you get a little bit of praise. There are three items total, to the best of my knowledge. The first being this little piece of, I don't know, cabbage. I'll just say that um, mo rolling this thing uphill is a nightmare with the ball physics in this game. So I'll show you this one since I'm like halfway up already. But um, yeah, nightmarish to get these up. Best thing you can do is butt it against the wall and then continually push it towards the wall. That'll get it up there and uh, not falling off the cliff. Now, this is the closest one. There are a total of three item items, as I said. I'll show you where they are, and then I'll show you after I get them up here. But, um, just knock it over near the bear. Right back to sleep. Now there's two more, so I'll show you where those are, then I'll show you me getting it there. On what might as well be the other side of the map, you can see, uh, let's see here, that's the little hut, right over there is where we do our fishing, is this weird chestnut thing that we can knock over to him. 20 minutes later. I wish I could sleep like that. And now to go find that last one. There it is, hanging from a tree. Once again, there's our fishing spot, there's our thing, and I'm actually standing right where we found the other one. It's a beehive though, so you cut it down. And then take it over to him. Well, this was only a nightmare and a half to get up here. This beehive is very bouncy. It really doesn't want to cooperate. Yay! And we get more... we get more praise. And that's it! That's the end of the story for the Sleepy Bear! Now this is one we've passed by about a dozen and a half times. Or at least I have, I don't know how many times I've shown you guys. Now the last one we can see from right here, our very last little digging spot. One of the first spots we saw in the whole game. That we can now finally do something about. And with all that said and done, I guess we can work our way back to Ryoshima Coast. Now, I certainly know that I did not collect everything along the way, but I got what I saw and I got what was obvious. Once again, come the end of the whole game, if there's anything I missed, I'll go back and get it then. So, uh, yeah, back at the coast. In fact, let's take a shortcut. We're gonna head in here to the old fortune teller lady's house and find three chests that are on fire! Now try as you might, I cannot get to the second chest before the fire goes out, so I'm just gonna be blowing a... blowing them each one individually out. And another stray bead! How about that? Ha 
Ha-ha! Hmm, you know what? That's a little interesting. I currently have two out of three of the solar fragments. And I know that there is a third one around here somewhere. But where specifically escapes me at the moment? Well, regardless, I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Because right now, we are still heading back. This was... I didn't accomplish all that horribly much in this video. In fact, I probably could have accomplished everything in this video, storyline progress-wise, in all of five, ten minutes. But there was a whole lot of backtracking that I wanted to take care of. There was a lot that we learned and took care of this video, and we're going to be better off because of it. And there's something to dig up somewhere. I think this is it. Okay, dang it. Yay! So yeah, we've actually accomplished a great deal. In fact, I off-screen most of it. But uh, that was a whole lot of backtracking, for one, that we don't have to do anymore! Hmm. To what appear, we can go down on the other side. Is there anything of importance down there? Looks like a clover, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. To be honest, I forget what this enemy's called. I'll figure it out in a moment, though. We have a new enemy! Now, this one can be a little troublesome. Is pretty much everything you throw at her... You know what? I was going to show you guys the glaive. Let's show you the glaive! Pretty much everything you throw at her... Okay. Glaive doesn't work quite like I was expecting. In the air, anyway. She'll block pretty much everything you do to her. So what you do is she'll block it with her parasol. With you blow the parasol away. There we are, and there's the glaive. And we got some money! We didn't do well for time, but you know what? I wasn't paying that much attention anyway. Hey, chest! It's like they just gave that one to me. Two of them! Two for one! Okay, now blow your thing away. No, I, as I've said, I'm not terribly fond of the glaive because it's so slow, but, um... It's actually not that bad. Especially if you charge it up, as I did there. And the nice thing about the charging up is that you can move around while you're charging. So you can actually get some really nice hits in. I'm still a reflector man, but, uh... It's not, it's not a bad weapon. Ah, oh, yet another one! All right, who wants some? Who wants some? Aw, oh, crap. The Thunder Ear, new enemy. They didn't actually give him his own introduction, but um, 
I hate fighting the ice eye things. I hate fighting them. The frost, whatever they're called. I hate them. Because I don't have any fire, and that's how you kill them. Now, the thunder ear is covered in thunder clouds, so you can, or lightning ear, or whatever it is. This is going much better than I could have hoped. And then I hit a tree. Wow, brute strength for the win. That didn't go badly at all, considering how my hatred for those enemies. Yay! Ooh, watery. Well, after all this trouble, we've finally made our way to the other end of Ryoshima Coast. Well, I got that down. Hey, I can double jump, man. I can jump. Yeah, I guess technically we've only been at... I want to say North Ryoshima Coast, because we're technically moving south. Dang. You know what? I can take them out. That heads then to South Ryoshima Coast. So... We've done a good bit of looking around at this point. I suppose it's time we actually move on. Right back here, right across the way, within the gate. I don't know how long this video is going to be in the end, but it's been uh, an hour and a half so far, my time. And thus we see... the capital. Well, it doesn't look healthy at all. Yeah, that is not good. It's a very nasty looking place. In fact, we can't even bloom. And the villagers can't even stand. Well, until next time, everyone, we investigate Sayan City and see if we can't co find out the cause of why it looks like this. Until next time, everyone.